I got mud down on my shoes. That's what I get for not wearing boots. Let's see, what can we talk about? These uh, Walmart gloves, look at that, isn't that sorry? I bet you all feel sorry for me, don't you? These Walmart work gloves, or mechanic gloves, are, uh, are really nice in the summer. I'm just uh, too, too forgetful, too lazy, too cheap to buy a new pair yet. Take your pick of which. But, I decided that if I'm going to start doing a lot of, a lot more uh, cold weather winter riding, particularly winter, I've been looking at some heated gloves. And there's, there's two uh, variants. You can get the uh, heated gloves that, uh, plug into a 12 volt outlet and, I, and I've got a factory 12 volt outlet on the side of the uh, headlight pod here on this uh, Polaris or you can get uh, heated gloves uh, and they're variable tincture they are variable temperature just like uh, the plug in 12 volts but they're they run on little batteries like a rechargeable battery pack ion battery packs go into the cuff of the batteries are uh, don't appear to be uh, too much larger bulk wise as a cell phone battery and uh, I hit YouTube There's some uh, there's some good results out there. People have some uh, pretty good claims. Heavy on the claims here. People have some uh, good recommendations as well. I uh, hear that cutting out. If you don't push the backup button, the damn thing cuts out up against the laminar. Anyway, I've been kind of looking into those. Winter writing. My hands get cold. Put these uh, bark busters on, and they that will help knock down the, 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 the direct surface wind on the uh, on the hands. Wonder who cut this? Anyway, it knocked down the direct surface wind. on your hands. Some 
winter gloves <laughs> go a long way in helping with the uh, helping with the cold on your hands. And I do have those, but in the bitter cold, they can uh, they can leave uh, leave a little bit desired as far as heat. Um, I hope this doesn't come out in somebody's backyard. So anyway, looked into those. Gonna give that some thought. And I think if I go that route, rather than having to mess around with any damn cords running back to a 12 volt outlet. I could just soon do the batteries. Uh, I've seen uh, the, the one particular brand I'm interested in. Person claimed to get uh, really good results on low setting for four continuous hours. Medium for uh, three and high for about two and a half. Two to two and a half. Um, my question is if you ran them on low and then only used them as needed, turn them off once in a while, let that battery re recover a little bit. You could possibly push that uh, charge out to uh, maybe five hours. That's a hell of a long saddle time, though, on a four-wheeler. This guard is higher. It does a better job blocking the wind than this one. I'm going to have to do some modifications to this one. Uh, I think this, uh, I think this machine was wrecked by the previous owner or whoever had it even before him. And I think this handlebar is just a little off because the mounting hardware is the same. But I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to take that off and see about the, uh, See about moving that up a little higher. Uh oh, we've got a problem. <laughs> That's why God made four wheel drive. this one up. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a beautiful day here, guys. And girls, take care. <laughs>